Hello everybody. I hope you all are taking good care of yourself. Stay at home. Stay safe. I know you all must be missing your school, your friends and especially your studies. But don't worry. We are here. I have made this video on the topic of plants. It's a common topic but yet it's a very interesting topic. We will just study this topic under three headings. Parts of the plant, different functions of the parts of the plant and types of the plants. Now just concentrate on the figure or picture of the plant. You can see this picture of a plant. This portion which is above the soil. Here is the soil. The portion of the plant which is above the soil is known as shoot system. And the part of the plant which is beneath the soil or below the soil that is known as root system. Root system consists of roots and shoot system consists of bud, flowers, leaves, branches, fruit and the stem. Now let's see what are the functions of these parts. Why it is important for a plant to have all these things? First of all, bud. Bud is an early stage of flower. It is an unopened flower. When it opens, it takes the shape of flower. Now, what is this? A green colored structure. This is called leaves. Leaves are known as kitchen of the plant. As you have seen your mother cooking food for you in the kitchen, just like that, plants also have kitchen. They have kitchen there in the leaves. Now the question arises, why leaves only prepare food for the plants? Not stem, not fruit, not buds. Just because you see one characteristics which is very common among the leaves, that is green color. Leaves have green color pigment which is known as chlorophyll which is very very essential for the plants to prepare the food. Plants are not like us. We are dependent on the plants and animals for our food. But plants are totally independent. They prepare their food in their own kitchen called leaves. Now comes fruits. What are these? Basically, you see here it's a vegetable, but we are calling it a fruit. When we consider the part of the plant, whether it is vegetable, whether it is a tomato, whether it is an apple, we always call it a fruit. Fruit is the fleshy part of the plant. Just as flower, flower is the most attractive part of the plant and fruit is is the fleshy part of the plant which holds the seeds. Now, whenever you have your fruit, just remember to say thanks to the flowers because buds give rise to flowers, flowers form fruits. So whenever you eat, say thank you to the flowers. Now, now we come to the part stem. Stem is very important for a plant because it helps the plant to stand upright. This brown portion is called as the stem. It helps the plant to stand upright and it also delivers water and nutrients from roots to the different parts of the plant and it carries food from the leaves to the different parts of the plant. Now come to roots. Roots have two major functions. You can see the roots. They absorb water, minerals and nutrients from the soil and give it to leaves for production or preparation of food. Now roots have second most important function that they hold the plants firmly in the soil. Without roots, you won't see plants standing firmly in the soil. So stem make them stand upright and roots 
hold them firmly in the soil. All the functions are interrelated to each other. Whenever you are dealing with the science subject, always ask a question why. You must have heard that plant is very important for us. We can't live our life without plants. Why? Why it is so necessary for us? Apart from giving us cereals, pulses, vegetables, fruits, various medicines, they play an important role in giving us oxygen. They are the only source which gives you oxygen. Because when they prepare their food, they give out oxygen and they take in carbon dioxide. And what we give out? We give out carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide they take in and give us our life oxygen. Because without oxygen, we can't live. Now let's go on to the next topic that deals with types of plants.